size perspectives geo fucks here and again we are still focusing on um, self-care self-preservation um, doing things by myself and alone treating myself taking myself out on dates and putting myself as a priority um, and having alone time right so but so I decided let me come on out here to Farmers Market, stop by some of my favorite places to support local businesses, um, and check it out. I love Flint, right? <laughs> Gotta represent. Um, so, I stopped by one of my favorite places called Cinnamons. It's like Cinnamons, but Cinnamons, because it's a mom and their bakery. I've been coming to this place for this particular place for probably going on nine years, okay? So, I decided to pick up one of my favorite flavors, which is their peanut butter cup cinnamon roll. It's cinnamon mom, but it's cinnamon. I say warm it up for like 20 30 seconds or you can eat it by yourself but look at the goodness of that yeah. so this is essentially probably two three thousand calories by itself now i mean i don't know but it's probably over a thousand calories like I have, i'm just keeping it real well let's let's get into it You can't do nothing but just shake your head on that because it's so good. It's so good. It's very sweet. If you like Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, you like peanut butter chocolate, um, you like cinnamon rolls, this is it. This is a winner. This is a 10 out of 10 for me. Like, this is why I always get this one. And um, Cinnamon has like so many different other flavors. Like, they've got a Heath Bar one. They got a strawberry cheesecake. They got a pecan turtle. Oh my God, they've got a red velvet cake. Like, they got some really good flavors up at Cinnamon's. And it's not only here at the Flint Farmer's Market. They have a storefront in the Grand Blank area um, off of uh, South Saginaw Road and Maple Road in Grand Blank. Basically right outside of Burton in Grand Blank in that section. Not that far. If you're from the Flint area or you're in Genesee County, it's not that far. Uh, check them out. Man, 
told myself, you know, part of that self-care journey is treating yourself every now and then. And, and then also, since we're talking about, you know, one of the things that I want to do this year is save money or be more conscientious of where my money is going, invest my money differently so my money can make more money. I know you're gonna look at this like, but you're out here taking yourself out to eat. The faux was like 50, was like fifteen dollars. This was like six seventy five, six ninety five, and the water was three dollars for one person. And I was able to support three local small businesses by doing that. Once a week, that's not expensive for, for me on a personal level. Once a week, that's not expensive. Because I, not expensive at all. I mean, that's less than $30 and I left tips, you know, less than $30 once a week for one person. That ain't bad for my personal level, but that's what I mean by you can save money and budget without having to forego everything that you like um, but then again it also depends on how much money you bring in how much is coming in and also how many people that you have to take care of you know what I'm saying because like if this was a day this would be well over $30 like both of our fuzz alone would have been 30 bucks plus the tip water would have been at six dollars this would have been 13 14 bucks for both plus the two so yeah it would have been well over that um but i figured i could do that once or twice a month if i was taking somebody out on a date like that you know what i'm saying but it can't be something that i would be doing every single week or every single day obviously um but yeah i when i tell people about budgeting and savings i try to emphasize that you can still have things that you like you can still do things that you like you can still buy things that you like here and there with and reason like i said once a week less than 30 dollars i can do this but if i was doing this every single day or multiple times a day or every single week not necessarily realistic for me when i'm trying to save money you see what i'm saying um but i also believe in you got to still have things to treat yourself because People be going complete cold turkey and cutting every little thing out, and they end up very angry, mad, frustrated, depressed, stressed. Because let's just be real, you want your budget similar to your diet. It needs to be something that is doable. You can't just sit up and cut every little thing out of your diet and then think, oh, well, I'm going to be a happy camper. That's why a lot of people's diets don't last. That's why a lot of people's budgeting doesn't work because you're literally telling yourself that you can't have anything that you like or you can't buy anything. And that's not necessarily the case. Now, are there moments in time where you might have to do a complete cold turkey spending freeze? Yes. Are there moments in times that you can't get, you can't buy something that you want and you gotta put it off? Yes. But it shouldn't be something that you have to, you don't wanna be, in my opinion, stuck in that mindset forever or doing that forever. dogs again play with them and then boom I'm going to the gym later so it's like <laughs> it's a treat for me <laughs> oh man Ooh. yeah well, I'm on my 
right there by looking at these. That's just all Reese's Peanut Butter Cup Cinnamon. This is so good. No complaints. And then you know me, you might as well go on and get you a A whole view of that. Look at that. Mm, I love Flint. <laughs> yes, I do. Put y'all right here. Oh, and I'm still, I still have my uh, mask. You sitting up. Oh, you wear your mask still? Yes, I do. Um, and I try to be, you know a mask or sitting away from other people or air purifier or in the house and I don't go out every day outside of going to the gym and then when I go to the gym I wear the mask <laughs> but yeah because COVID is still a real thing um, the rates are still spiking and are high you still got a thousand plus people perishing every single week from COVID still, nothing has really changed, right? But to each his own, I'ma wear my mask, you do you. But this was super good. If you're ever at the Flint Farmer's Market, stop by Cinnamoms, check them out. If you're ever in the Burton Grand Blake area, stop by their storefront, check them out. Self-care, preservation, saving money, budgeting, making your money work for you and make more money for you but also still having a balance where you can still treat yourself here and there you know still gotta treat yourself every now and then ain't nothing wrong with that alright I'm out